Hi guys, welcome to Crypto Hype Young Gaming again. In this video, I will show you what you should be doing every day in playing 9D NFT. So let's get this started. Okay, let me just go ahead and open the app or the application. Okay, let's enter the game. Okay, so let me just get get ready of this. Okay, first open this benefits button and collect all things you can collect from here. So check in every day, online reward, level up reward, anything that you can you can collect from here. And next, let's proceed with the daily quests. So just click on this button, come, and then execute to proceed with the daily quest. Then third, Lava Labyrinth. So you will need to do the Lava Labyrinth that is appropriate with your level. And the next thing is buy in Divine Shop. So make sure to buy every day in divine shop using your metal and fifth is dragon gate so you will get more experience whenever you enter this dragon gate and next one is assassin missions so you can also get lots of experience from assassin missions so, anyway, this will be only appropriate for level 150 above. And next one is guild mission. So, always make sure that you do your guild mission every day. Next is Skyscraper Tower. So, it's up to you if you want to do this every day. But if you can... I suggest that you should. Also, there's the event Demon Killing. So, this happens four times a day. So, there's a schedule of events where you can look it up. So, always make sure to join Demon Killing. Alright, so, let me just proceed with this. Next one is... Always click on delegate on the guild. So whenever you go through guild, click delegate and learn skills. So this is an additional skills that you will gain as well. So it's better if you will be able to get or learn skills every day from guild. Okay, next one is always join Dragon Tigers Battlefield. So this lasts for at least 10 minutes and you will be able to gain a bit of rewards from this. It's also, you will be able to enjoy the battle here. And next one is Valley Villain. So always enter Valley Villain. I suggest that you enter at least drill or villain. Anyway, next is arena. So you have to combat five players. So you can choose whichever you want to combat. And anyway, after you finish this, you should be able to receive medal. And next one is guild meeting. So always attend guild meeting. So that happens every 8 p.m. And by attending guild meeting, you will be able to earn contribution points and also experience. All right, next one is boss guild hunt. So always join the boss guild hunt. You will be able to gain a few rewards. 
some items. So better to join guild boss every day or every night rather. Okay, let's just wait for it. So this is how it looks like. So make sure to also join a guild. So if you don't have a guild, then of course you won't be able to join boss guild hunt. So let me just show you the boss guild hunt for a bit. All right, next one is Challenge White Gibbon. So always join White Gibbon Hunt every night. It's actually not every night. There are some days that it's not available. But I suggest that you join White Gibbon Challenging since you will be able to get books that can amplify your power score. So it's highly suggested that you enter this Gibbon Hunt challenge. So that's how it looks like. And anyway, that's it, guys. Once you have completed all those, so you should have gotten at least 80 activity points. And you can collect some rewards for that. All right, let me show that to you. Let me just have this finish. Let's just wait for this to finish. All right, so this is the last thing that I will be reminding you. So activity rewards. So here are the rewards that you can get. So make sure that you get them up. Okay, so that's it, guys. I hope this helps. And please hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye, guys. NFT, never forget to pass it. Quickest way.